What is up, guys? It's Dave Action Jackson coming at you live in the world right now. I'm about to um, clean my face. I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of acne now. Or any kind of bumps on your face, really. Um, basically, all you need for this is a wet towel. And I just got this towel out. You know, wet towel with hot water. Now, I know a lot of people, like a lot of companies, offer um, products that say they're going to clean your face or get rid of acne or get rid of all the bumps and blackheads and all that. Um, I don't really get acne. I used to when I was younger, but then, like, after my parents were like, David, wash your face with, like, just water and a towel. I mean, water and, um, soap. To be honest, let's just throw this out there. You, water and soap, yeah, it's good because it, it's clean, but let's just, we want to clean out the pores. Not just clean the whole face, but we want to clean out the pores too. So I'm going to show you guys what to do. Now, my water, because of the temperature on my, on my um, water heater, it got turned up all the way. So I don't want to use the water too hot of water. But at the same time, I don't want it to be like, you know, like super hot. I want it to be a little bit cold. Like, just have a little bit of cold water on it. So here's what we do. Now, typically you're going to want to get like the bigger bumps. And I'm sweating because, um, like in my bathroom, you know, the water or the, the steam from water is coming up and it's kind of hitting me in the face. So, it's kind of like a sweat or a sauna in a way. But, um, so my story is, because yeah, I used to get like... I don't get pimples. I never have gotten pimples before. I'm 20. I've never gotten pimples before. I used to have acne, but I started washing my face with just hot water, and that, like that by itself, it, it works really well. And you could get rid of like, it's, say you got a, like a blemish or something, and you want to get rid of it, and you, you're going to like a party or whatever. Wash it a few times with hot water, and it'll go down, and it'll keep going down until it's gone and you might like you notice a little spot where it was let that spot disappear because it'll disappear naturally but what you want to do is get some hot water in here i'll show you guys so get hot water and you can see the hot water part on um so get hot water get a towel now the water is pretty hot but make sure you have a little bit of cold water too put the cold water on too and what you're going to do is pick a spot now, any one of the spots, like I have a bump on my neck from shaving for work. Now, I have to shave every day or every other day because I have facial hair. My managers want me to be clean shaven, whatever that means. Um, So, pick a spot, wet it. Good God. I do this for my whole face, but you can do this for any spot. Like, pick a spot, wet it. Get and just get it, make sure it's like a little bit hot. You rub it on that spot. Now it's gonna bleed, but that's part of the process. So and it hurts a little bit too. But you can see right here I have a bump right there from shaving. And it turned white. But yesterday I did cut myself from all shaving. And so I have razor burn. All kinds of stuff from shaving. Anyways, once you use hot water, usually like um, the swelling of the bumps go down, and what that does is it, like it cleans your pores out. So if it's open and it starts bleeding, that's when you want to like scrub at it. I don't really scrub it, like rub it. Just put some pressure on the rub part though. So that, oh, let me put my glasses on. Okay, so you can tell mine went down a little bit in just a few seconds. But. but it's gonna bleed and it's gonna hurt a little bit, but that's just because of the hot water. It's not. This skin's not really used to like direct heated water unless you're taking a shower, but if you're like just using it in one spot, then it's gonna hurt. So and it does hurt right now. But that's part of the process. So you gotta keep wetting it and doing it. Now, if you live in any of these states, um, if you live in the United States right now, and people across the country are doing the ALS challenge, don't be an idiot. If you know what ALS is, basically, it's a nerve-eating um, sickness. 
and then all it does is get through all your like it tears up your nerves it tears them down so you can't use them and eventually you die a painless but death but you suffer so if you're doing an ALS challenge here's what I want to say Californians across California don't waste water because they're catching people for um for wasting water and I've seen a couple of my co-workers and a couple of my friends on Facebook doing it I'm not gonna lie you guys are completely dumb like donate to the cause don't waste water give a hundred dollars to them or whatever however much it is I mean you don't exactly have to give a hundred dollars but like just give probably like five or ten to donate it but yeah, if you guys are smart, don't do these stupid challenges, because nobody knows what ALS is. No one, like, it's not new, just like some of the regular other cancers and sicknesses that we have now, uh, that are being discovered. They're not new, it's just, some people don't understand them, so they, like, make up these ridiculous challenges to get people to pay. But anyways, yeah, you got your water, that's your towel. Now, um, I turned, it went from white to, back to a little bit pink. bleeding a little bit so after a while what you want to do is because the, the power it's going to turn to a, like a callus kind of thing but it's not like it's not a callus it's more like just pus covering itself and pus covering the, the sore and what it does is it'll once it covers it because it's going to start the healing process now the healing process is going to take like a few hours then what you're going to do is you're going to repeat the process until it gets smaller and smaller. So the pus is going to fill up the hole and then it's going to, um, what it'll do is it'll start healing. So, yeah. You can still see it, but it's not as big. And that's the point of it. So here's what I want you guys to do. For each person that has acne, um, don't, don't think that all, all of those acne companies or whatever facial companies, they're going to work because they don't always work for everyone. So if you struggle with acne, um, try this. Let me know what you think because it, it does help if you have like a, a standard kind of thing going on instead of having to pay like tons of money just to, um, just to get rid of acne and all that. So, all right guys, so that's it. Um. Let me know what you think, because it's a, it's a surefire worry of getting rid of acne, and I know it'll, it'll hurt a little bit, but um, it does get rid of it, like hot water, and hot water, and a towel, it does get rid of it, so I'll see you guys later, let me know what you think.